Uh, someone asked how Colin's foot is after the axe accident. A hundred percent. He's a little risk averse compared to where he was before. Uh, for people who don't know, Colin and I were chopping wood. I, when you're the parent of a special needs kid, he was a 12 year old special needs kid at the time. He's 16 now. It is tricky to understand when to treat him like a 12 year old and when to treat him like an eight year old. And when I was 12, I was chopping wood. I think I had my own ax. My friend's house was heated by wood exclusively. And there were often days where it was like, Brian's got to chop wood. If you want to hang out with Brian today, that means you got to chop wood too. That's just it. And I'm like, hell, I like chopping wood. So I did. I was a Boy Scout. We collect wood, chop it, cut it with a hatchet, chop it with an whatever. Like I had a lot of chopping wood experience by the time I was 12, especially for a relative city boy. Anyway... Um, so we're chopping wood for this house. We got a, like a, a stove, like a, it's not a fireplace, but it's like an iron stove that's in a fireplace. That's what we had. And it's, we got a bunch of wood to chop. It was kind of an exercise thing, kind of a heating thing, kind of a dad and Colin doing things together thing, etc. Colin gets tuckered out and I'm a little tuckered out too, but it, it's my nature to maybe push too hard, too far on activities like this. And uh, it's, uh, it was my mistake where I let him work tired and uh, he's chopping wood and he misses the log in front of him and he hits the tip of his boot. He had a, you can imagine like what a work boot looks like. It's kind of a tan Timberland looking work boot and it freaking sliced the thing I think it was a steel toe work boot too but like where the laces are it cut there and um he was like instantly pale I think he threw up I uh uh this is an environment where like I'm the best me like Jackie's always very like get Woody we'll know what to do and uh you know, I, I picked him up, sort of cradled him in my arms, put him in the passenger seat of my truck, grabbed the paper towels from the kitchen straight to the hospital. We get to the hospital, park right in front of ER, go into the thing and say, hey, we got an axe accident. I need a doctor. I need a wheelchair. I need it now. Nurses you know, scurry into action. And, uh, and we get Colin in a wheelchair. We get a doctor on the other side of the door. And... Uh, and he's, he's doing his thing. So uh, um, the ER doctor didn't initially think he cut the tendons. He's like, I think we can stitch this back up and it'll be okay. And then after a little more poking around, weird that he got it wrong at first, uh, he did need his tendons fixed. And, and a specialist comes in for this kinds of thing. I'll never forget it. He takes these, um, you know what medical clamps look like? They almost look like long handled scissors but the end is a clamp instead of scissors he pulls colin's tendon for two toes and says yep this is torn watch and he activates his toe to make it go like that by pulling on the tendon uh oh are they forceps okay so um uh he activates the toe by pulling on the tendon through the cut the axe wound in the top of his foot Colin is freaking out. And I'm like, what do we got here? You know, can we fix this? Where are we, et cetera? And the doc is like, we can probably fix this. I think this is going to be okay. Uh, if you opt not to fix it, uh, then life is okay. He's got his big toe. He's got his little toe. He, like his foot will work mostly right, but it's going to kind of suck. And when he puts so socks on or shoes on, there'll be like lifeless toes that fold underneath and whatever. And I was like, that's not where we want to go. Where we want to go out fixing it. So Colin wasn't okay with non-functioning toes. Uh, again, it's like an anxiety thing. And he just like, it, it happened on a Friday or a Saturday. It happened into a weekend and the, the team wasn't on staff. And Colin, like, there was no explaining to 12-year-old Colin that on Monday they were going to operate 
and get it right. I think it happened on a Saturday. So the doctor moved like heaven and earth to assemble a surgical team on a Sunday morning. And uh, like we found out, he's like, this anesthesiologist, this pediatric anesthesiologist number like five he had to contact. And this nurse and this, that. And the, these were all people who gave up their Sundays because Colin was a special needs kid and the mental trauma from the axe accident was double bad for him. And uh, I'm still grateful. <laughs> I'm still grateful now. And uh, um, so that's it. That on a Sunday morning, they operated on his foot, and all he had he had to wear a, a series of boots, maybe two different boots, that uh, prevented him from like trying to bend his toes, and like they had arched bottoms that made it easy to walk. And he had to live in a sock and a boot for a little while, but it's it's what he needed, and he was able to accept it. And uh, his foot now is 100% okay, save the scar on the top of it. So that's where he is.